In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Mannequin. We're going to go over to the Brewology website. You'll want to download these two most recent ones. I'm going to go ahead and leave the links in the description. With Mannequins, you'll be able to play PS2, PS1, PSP, and the PS3 games. It's an alternative to the Multi-Man. I like the user interface a little bit better than the Multi-Man. And then once they're downloaded, you're going to want to put them inside of your USB that you've been using or any FAT32 formatted USB and make sure to put it in the root. And as soon as you have this in there, we're going to go ahead and insert the USB into the PS3. And if you haven't followed my other video on how to install Wadman and Modman, be sure to go ahead and check that out. So once we're in the PS3, we're going to go ahead and go into the package manager and then install packages. And then we're going to go on standard and you're going to see file manager install that and then after it finishes installing we're going to go ahead and click on mana guns you're going to also need the psp launcher and other downloads to run psp games make sure to check out the links in the description so you can get those downloads as well as you can see with the file manager you're going to be able to see all the files that are inside of the root of your sd card and on the hard drive and in here you can copy and move over the psp ps2 ps3 isos I like using multi-man. I think the multi-man user interface is a little better than this one. But I do like the user interface for the games on mana guns better. So let's go into mana guns now. It's going to separate all the games that you have already saved onto your hard drive in separate folders. So as you can see, this is the PS3 folder. I got two ISOs that I've dumped onto my PS3. Here's the PS2, PSP, and... If you, if you hold down select, it's going to take you down to the file manager as well. So you don't have to be exiting and entering the app. You can enter it from Mana Guns itself. And then we click on settings. You can see all the different settings that it has. And just the screen, download covers. I'm going to go ahead and download the cover. You can check the plugin manager. You can change the user interface on here. And then it, you can also change the way that the file manager looks. So let's go back. I'm going to show you how to run the games. And as you can see, all the games also have settings. So if you click on a certain game and you click on settings, it gives you different settings that you can change. You can enable 480p on here as well. You can change the resolution to 16.9 instead of the 4.3. And the way you run games is you're going to click on the game that you want to run. And it's going to take you back into the PS3 XMB. And then once you're on there, you're going to see the game, click on it, and it's going to load. For some reason, when I was playing um Zombies for Black Ops, it'll freeze when I was running the disc. But once I dumped it, it doesn't freeze anymore. And then if you want to run the PS1 or PS2 games, make sure to have a virtual memory card created. If you don't know how to do that, just go ahead and go into the memory cards. And then you're going to create one. And then make sure to assign it to a slot. So as you can see, I already have mine created. And they're both assigned to a slot. And... I'm going to show you how to play the PlayStation 2 games. You're going to do the same thing. You click on it and it's going to load onto the PlayStation 3 XMB. And then from there, you can play the game. Only one that's different, it's going to be the PSP. You're going to want to go into Webman Games and then go into PSP and then click on the game that you want to play. You want to go ahead and click on Local Roco. And then from here, you're going to want to click on PSP Launcher. And once it's on PSP Launcher, you're going to see it's loaded. We're going to go ahead and click on it, and it's going to open. And then just wait for it to load. As you can see, that the game loaded. And that's how you guys play. That's so how you can play PS2, PS1, PSP, and PS3 games with Mana Guns. Check out the other videos if you have any more questions on how to jailbreak. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.